Welcome back legends. I hope you're all fantastic. Today we're taking a look at the brand new boss IR200 which does load impulse responses but it's also an amp modeler. It also supports USB audio so you can use this as your interface to record or stream with. It's got a stereo effects loop. It's got built-in reverb. It does MIDI. It basically does a whole bunch of stuff. Essentially you've got eight guitar amp models from the GT series processors. And you got three bass amp models, which is kind of nice that the bass players haven't been forgotten with this. Uh, hopefully if I can actually get a good close up on this because it's so shiny, you have a row of physical controls here, which are going to be mapped onto your classic amp controls. Then you've got a bunch of encoders up here, which support push functionality. So you can actually dive deep and set up things like the global EQ. You can do some extra deep tweaking on the amp models and the reverb and it comes with a bunch of factory IRs from Boss, as well as a bunch of Celestion impulse responses, as well as a whole bunch of user slots so that you can load in your own IRs. And surprise, surprise, I've loaded in a bunch of my IRs in this that you're gonna hear in the video. If you wanna grab my IRs, by the way, they are linked for free in the video description so you can try them for yourself, all right? Let's get into it. Okay, let's get started with factory preset number one. I'm just gonna tweak this one a little bit as I play and then I'll show off some of my custom presets. Hopefully I can demonstrate the functionality on here as well. My guitar, which is a 2002 Les Paul standard with Martin A. Smith humbuckers is being plugged straight into the IR200. That's coming straight out in stereo to my interface and into Pro Tools with no post processing. I'm gonna use the onboard amp style controls. Just kind of dial this into my liking. <laughs> So this role controls fairly self-explanatory. If I wanna change the amp model, I can move this encoder here. For example, let's bring up the diamond amp. I could change to a different cabinet if I want to. I think there's some factory uh, like blue IRs. There's also a bunch of stock Celestian IRs and uh, you can load up your own IRs as well. Then I can tweak the level on the reverb here. But if I press these encoders, for example, the reverb encoder, I get control over all the parameters. I could change this to say a studio type reverb and bring the overall time down. I can then page across up here and say, darken the reverb a little bit with the tone control. And also I can set the level here. If I do a similar thing on the amp and push that encoder, you can see I get the standard controls there, but I can also set the gain switch on there. And I can also set the level for the solo switch. And you can assign the solo switch to one of the onboard foot switches as well, if you want to do that. Let's hear this low gain diamond amp though. <laughs> So using the gain switch on there, you can basically turn any of the amp models into a high gain amp model, which I think is kind of cool. Same way the GT1000 does that. Uh, all this seems to be missing are the resonance and sag controls from the GT1000 amp models on there, which uh, is a bit of a shame in my opinion, because when I borrowed a GT1000, I found I used those controls a lot. But again, it's like two 
fewer parameters for people to worry about. Uh, it seems like the whole idea with this product is just plug it in, twist some knobs and go. If you do want to do some deep editing, you can hit menu and you can say access system stuff like the global EQs. I've got them set as a global graphic EQ at the moment. You can set them as a global parametric. Uh, you can go through and play around with stuff like the input levels and you can actually save uh, different input settings for different guitars, which I think is really cool on there. Uh, very, very handy if you're using this with different guitars for different gigs. And you can set the output, you can set stuff to do with the headphones where there's kind of like surround sound thing. I think it is a similar surround sound thing to the Wazza headphones, but it obviously doesn't have the whole gyroscope feature in there where you can kind of place yourself in the room. Uh, so anyway, that's the basic operation. Let me just kind of uh, come up here and I'll show you a few presets that I dialed in using one of my own impulses that I loaded in using the editor. This is using the Twin and LTTV Mix 7. This one is shared for free in the video description if you want this IR. Uh, just a little bit of room reverb. <laughs> That one is, yeah, basically just set up as a kind of pedal platform. You could put a drive pedal in front of that and hit it hard, or you could just use it for clean stuff. The next preset is using the Brit stack model on there. Uh, you probably know what this is gonna do. Just a kind of angry Marshall style thing. Obviously, if you want it less bright, turn the treble down. You can add a bunch of extra gain there or you can get in and you can uh, not change the preset. Let's not do that. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Let's go over and hit the gain switch higher and I'll just bring the treble down a bit as well. <laughs> That's doing the crunchy British style thing right there. I'm so happy they put the Ubershall model in this as the like extra chuggy chuggy amp. That was probably my favorite high gain amp in the GT1000. <laughs> That's glorious. Again, using the same IR I'm using for all of my own presets, which I think a lot of people are gonna do. You know, the built-in IRs, whether they're the Boss ones or the Celestian ones, sound really good. If you've gone down the amp modeling rabbit hole before, you've probably figured out that the impulse response that you use uh, ends up kind of forming so much of the end user experience and the overall tone that you're probably going to stick to like a handful of IRs. So you're going to load them in and you're going to stick to a handful of IRs. Anyway, uh, let's hear just how much reverb we can get out of the built-in reverb. I'll go to this ambient preset over here. This is with the whole cranked all the way out, like eight seconds of reverb and the tone control making it a little bit brighter. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we got to try the X high gain for a lead thing. I have cranked the whole reverb up on this one. Again, same IR as always. Let's just hear this and uh, we'll hear how nice and sticky it gets. <laughs> So there's some tones with the IR200. The name is definitely misleading. I think if you don't actually read the spec sheet on this, you're probably just gonna assume that it is a 200 series IR loader or cabinet simulator and nothing else. I like that there is more than just three or four basic amp models on there. I like that there are proper high gain amp models from the GT series on there. Like I said, I kind of wish there was the resonance and the SAG controls on there because I feel like they add an extra level of kind of just tweakability and depth to the GT series amp models, which isn't to say that these sound bad. Uh, I just really liked those controls when I tried the GT 1000. The built-in reverb is cool. I would love the option to have reverb or delay because if this had delay in it, I could properly use it as like a gigging solution or I could just stick it in my guitar bag as a backup, you know, just give me a nice like 375 millisecond delay option on there instead of reverb. I'm probably gonna use that more than reverb, but again, I'm not everybody. A lot of people are gonna love that this has a hall, a room and a studio reverb built in. I didn't get to demo the surround sound feature in there or the USB audio function in there, but I think that's probably the thing that kind of sets this apart from the other things on the market, like the Iridium or the amplifier box. Uh, the fact that you can use this as your interface, uh, the fact that you can plug headphones into it and plug the rest of your rig into it as well, is gonna be appealing to people. So I think like a lot of Boss products out at the moment, you have to scratch beneath the surface to actually kind of realize like, hey, this does a lot more than their advertising. So uh, I just kind of showcase some basic tones in this video, but keep in mind there is all that added functionality in there. It's a similar price point to a lot of the other things out there, but yeah, I, I just like that there's actually proper high gain amp models in there. And uh, being able to load your own IRs is always a handy thing. I'm really glad Boss have got on board with that and given you lots and lots of IR slots on there. All right, that is the IR200 amp and cabinet from Boss. Thank you very much to Boss Australia, Ed and the rest of the team for sending me one of these on loan. If there's anything you would like to know or ask me, let me know in the comments. If you wanna see future videos with this unit, with any features that I may not have covered in this video, again, please let me know in the video description. If you wanna support the channel, links to my Patreon and my music in the video description. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.